What's up guys, welcome back to another video and this is once again going to be a video on one particular type of authentication. I know guys, uh, this authentication series has been going way too long. Uh, but as I said, I would like to cover all the bases before uh, bringing this to an end. As of now, we have talked about email, phone, password, uh, I mean email, password, phone, Google, Facebook, Twitter, all these, right? Today we will see, I mean in this video we will see how to do an anonymous authentication uh, and we will end the series here. Okay, there was, there were some users asking me how to do uh, authentication without using Firebase that is authentication using our own backend maybe using Node or JWT or something like that. Uh, if anyone would like to see uh, a video on that kindly let me know in the comments and I uh, will try to make one. Uh, if not, then we'll end the authentication series here. So first, let's just jump into the video and uh, do what we intended to do in the first place. Uh, so this was our code for phone authentication, right? I'll simply remove uh, this was the home page dot dot. Let me get into main dot dot and simply go ahead and uh, uh, remove this text field. Okay, now we'll just have one button. This will be... Before doing this, let me just talk a bit about anonymous authentication. Anonymous authentication is like allowing the user to log in without any uh, credentials, guys. That is, he need not enter any email or password or uh, anything of that sort and he can simply tap on a button and log in, right? So you might be asking, it's useless, right? Why are we adding in uh, adding that as an authentication method? Uh, basically anonymous authentication if you add it to your application you would need to write user specific authentication rules and guest specific authentication rules that is the guest should not be able to access areas that are uh, that are specific to logged in users right so uh, how do I say this you can provide guest authentication option in your application if you are ready to offer some uh, some taste of what he could do if he is some a, a demo like thing of what he could do uh, if he creates an account with your application just to give a preview sort of thing right uh, in that case you can use guest authentication but other than that uh, uh, providing guest authentication for users with in an application that has uh, specific areas that are to be accessed only by logged in users would be obviously a, uh, obviously not recommended right Anyway, uh, that's enough talk. Let's just sign in as uh, guest. Okay, we just have a button and instead of verify phone, I'll write an on press method here. This is pretty much simple guys. There's nothing fancy in this. Firebase uh, auth dot uh, instance dot uh, sign and in anonymously. Uh, we'll be getting a Firebase user, okay. I'll handle errors. Fine. Oh, this is not Firebase user. This is Firebase user user. And inside this, we can simply navigator dot of context dot push replacement named or something like that yeah push replacement named home page okay now if i just tap on this button i will be taken to the home page i'll show you all right our app has loaded fine and uh, as you can see here i have enabled the anonymous authentication for our application right now let's just tap on users okay uh let's see if uh, anonymous user gets added in uh, when we tap on sign in as guest i'm tapping on it now wow it got logged in right uh, let me refresh this see you got an anonymous user added at the bottom right it's showing anonymous here uh, that is the user doesn't have a name or anything uh, uh that's it guys this, so this id will be the same as this id as well ad something like that that's it guys, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, the problem is, as I said before, you need to write specific uh, authentication rules for logged in users as well as guest users. 
if you just log out and then try to log in again it will create another new anonymous user i'll tap on it once more see another anonymous user has been created so uh, as i keep on tapping on it again and again new anonymous users will get created uh, for each and every login guys that is your user base will seem to increase uh, in size uh, so this is what anonymous user is all about uh, still i wouldn't recommend it if you are going to use it in a application that has thousands and th thousands several hundred thousands of users uh, as i said before anonymous user the guest user login feature uh it can be used to provide i mean it can be used to give the user uh, a preview of what he could enjoy if he uh, signs up for this application or something like that but even then as i said before you would need to write certain specific access based uh, authentication rules for uh, users who have signed up for the application and for the guest user separately so yeah this is one method of logging into your application as well uh, and i wanted to show this to you guys with this we'll end our series of videos on authentication guys uh, going forth we'll see how to store retrieve update and delete data in firestore and then we'll also see how to store uh, images in firebase storage as well then we'll see how to combine them both and uh, build a cool user management system a complete user management system wherein uh, that can be used for any application uh, so yeah we'll uh, get into the actual process of app development uh, as we go forth uh, authentication i hope you get guys got a rough idea of how to bring that in inside your applications uh, there are a lot of other uh, steps that you would need to take care of when you uh, write the authentication system for your application i have just covered the basics in all these uh, six five or six videos i think uh, there are a lot of other criteria that you would need to consider while you are uh, writing an authentication system for an application in production uh, so yeah guys i'll I, uh, this is what i wanted to show you guys today hope this helped you if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too if you really like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button and uh, if you like what i'm doing on this channel kindly subscribe and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.